Hello, my name is Eric. I am the firearms enthusiast here at Hogue Incorporated, and today I am going to show you how to replace your Mini 14 stock with your new Hogue Overmolded Mini 14 stock. The only tool that is necessary to replace the stock is a small flat bladed screwdriver that will fit into the hole at the back of the trigger guard. The first step before beginning any work on a firearm is check to make sure that that firearm is clear. Step one, remove the magazine. Step two, open the action, check to make sure that the chamber is clear. Now that it is clear, you may lower the action. To remove the action from the stock, you must first remove the trigger assembly, then remove the action. And since we are installing it into a new stock, you're going to need to transfer the forearm liner into the new stock. Step one, removing the trigger assembly. Insert your screwdriver into the hole at the back of the trigger guard. Leverage the trigger guard up, then lift the trigger assembly out of the bottom of the stock. Step two, removing the action. Simply grasp the back of the action, lift it out, slide it slightly forward, and it is now clear of the stock. Step three, removing the forearm liner. Since this is a wood stock, it has the metal reinforcement that holds the forearm liner in place. To remove the metal reinforcement, first remove one screw. Underneath the screw is a star washer that you will also remove. Then remove the second screw. Along with this screw is also another star washer to remove. To remove the metal reinforcement, you're going to want to pinch it together and take it out the bottom. This piece is not necessary to install in the Hogue stock. Go ahead and set it aside. To remove the forearm liner, push up on the back end and push it out the front of the stock, and then finish pulling it out of the stock. Now that all the pieces are removed from your wood stock, you may now set it aside. With your new Hogue stock, you must first install the forearm liner, then install the action, then install the trigger assembly. Step one, installing the forearm liner. Set the forearm liner inside the front barrel channel. Slightly elevate the rear, push it all the way back, push down on the back end till it clicks into place. Step two, installing the action. Set the stock into the gas block and lower the rear of the action down. Push the stock and the action together to make sure that they are fully seated. Step 3. Installing the trigger assembly. Simply insert the trigger assembly into the bottom of the stock. Take the palm of your hand on the trigger guard, grasp around at the action, and squeeze until it snaps into place. Now, cycle your action, checking to make sure that it cycles its full stroke and is smooth. Now it is time to go out to your local gun range and check the function of your rifle. From all of us here at Hogue, thank you for watching. 